Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Ant-Man action figure. This is based on Ant-Man in the upcoming movie, and this would be the Scott Lang version of Ant-Man. Not the Hank Pen, which is the classic Ant-Man, which is all confusing, but uh, I didn't even know this was going to be out so soon. I just happened to see it at Toys R Us, and I'm like, ooh. So I grabbed it, and only had him and Tiger Shark, which I didn't get Tiger Shark, because he looked kind of dumb. They don't even show him on the back. Oh wait, yeah, they do. There he is, Tiger Shark. But uh, yeah, there's what he comes with. He comes with an Ultron head. This really bugs me too, because I really want that Ultron figure, but I don't really want to buy all these characters to get him. I don't really want anybody else at all, except for maybe Wasp. The others I don't really care about. But look at that, an Ultron. Damn it, I want it. And it's really confusing about this that the build a figure Ultron from the Avengers 2 movie comes with Ant Man. But it's confusing because. In the comics, Ant-Man is the one that actually built Ultron. And it wasn't this Ant-Man, it was Hank Pym, who's, you know, like an older Ant-Man in the movie. And the younger one here, Scott Lang, isn't the one that built him in the comics. But it's just confusing, they stuck Ultron in here with the Ant-Man figure, even though he has nothing to do with Ant-Man in the movie, from what I can tell. Because in the movie, it was Tony Stark and Bruce Banner that built Ultron, so that's just a bunch of confusing crap. But I do like this. I like that he comes with a little tiny Ant-Man, and I guess that's a little yellow jacket there. So that's pretty cool. And there's a picture on the size. There's some art. A little ant on the top. And there's a little description. It says, Using Hank Pym's proprietary technology, Scott Lang shrinks and all kinds of crap. Okay, let's open this up. So there he is all opened up. And uh, I'm pretty happy with his design. I really liked you know the way they made his suit look it just it's kind of a cool look for him and it's classic suits just kind of silly looking so this is kind of a cool updated version I actually prefer this than the classic version I just don't like the silliness of the original they still has his hand tennis which were that was the goofiest part of his original costume but they're still there but they don't look as goofy so I like that and I like the color of the eyes they really stand out on this figure they're just very bright, they're like fluorescent orange on his little wrist thingies. They're like fluorescent orange also. And I like the way they, you know, the red and the black is separated by the silver, like the silver trim. That's a pretty cool look, I like it. And the rest of the suit is pretty cool. You know, it's just like black and red, silver mixed in. I like it, it's a nice design. I really like the way they did the helmet. It like, they made the metal all scuffed up looking. And I like that. They could have done it on the shoulders too, unless maybe maybe they're not scuffed up in the movie, I don't know. But it seems like all the other silver parts are scuffed up, so why aren't the shoulder thingies? I don't know. But, yeah, I like the figure. The only thing that kind of bugs me is his legs are very, very weak. They're very, you can see, I'm like barely putting any pressure and they just kind of wobble around. And he doesn't feel like he wants to stand up too well because his legs are so shaky. And that kind of bugs me. But, articulation is pretty good. Like most of the Marvel Legends figures, he's got the double jointed knees, he's got double jointed elbows, and his arms go all over the place at the shoulders. Wrist can bend around and twist. His head can look around pretty well. And spin at the waist, at the like ribs, he can go down. So that's that's really cool. Lots lots of articulation, and they got that nice little swivel on his ankle there. And then it can go back and forth like that. So lots of articulation in this guy. Now one of the coolest things about this one is he comes with this tiny version of himself. And I think that's really awesome. You can stick him on the little flying ant. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And this is really tiny too. You can see that's how small he is. It would be really easy to lose this thing. But that's really cool. And this thing don't really have any articulation. It's got really bendy legs though. They don't hold their position when you bend them. And I'm going to try to get you a better view of this little thing. Really tiny. It's kind of painted, I guess, as best as they could do for something so small, which isn't bad. And also, you get, like, I guess it's a little yellow jacket. It's got these little spiky Dr. Octopus looking things coming out. So that's cool. And he also comes with the Ultron head. It's like I said, I think it's weird that. They included Ultron with this set. Seems like he should have been with, you know, the Avengers 2 figures. But whatever. 
it's a cool looking head and it makes me want to get the rest but I'm not going to buy all those other figures I don't want to get this unfortunately but I do like the head it's cool so here's a little closer look at his helmet yeah, I really like the design of it and there's just more of his suit so you can get a better look at that Cool. Let's do a quick comparison to some other characters. There he's next to Star Lord. And when I first seen the design for his helmet, it reminded me a lot of Star Lord's design. It's like, man, them guys' helmets do look too similar. If they ever end up in the same movie, it's gonna be like, hey. I mean, I guess they're not that similar seeing them next to each other. It's just, I don't know, they just remind me of each other for some reason. And there he is next to another little bug type superhero, Spider Man. So that's cool. I don't know what Spider-Man's doing with his arms there, but whatever. And there he is next to a fellow Avenger. Well, yeah, he's not an Avenger yet, but he will be, I'm assuming. And, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Iron Man's a little bit taller. So, there he is. I think he's really cool. I really like this figure. My biggest gripe is his legs that aren't very strong. Like, getting him in this, this position was difficult. He just, well, legs are very weak. Maybe that's just mine, maybe not all of them will be like that. But I imagine some other people will probably get one that's just as weak as this. So that, yeah, that kind of bugs me. And I do like his accessories. I like the little dudes he comes with. The little version of himself in the yellow jacket. And I like the little flying ant or whatever. And, of course the Ultra head, Ultron's head's cool, but I'm never going to use it. Well, this is Mr. Ebert Cheese, and that was my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Ant-Man action figure. And uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye. Okay, yeah, man, that wall's too strong for me to shoot through it. And Hulk's not here yet, so we can't have him just smash through. So I'm going to need you to shrink down and go in through that little ventilation shaft over there. All right, Iron Man, I'm on it. Hulk here, ready to smash. Hi, Hulk. About time. I'd like you to meet our newest teammate, Ant-Man. Ant-Man, where? Hulk, sorry. Hulk not smart, but Hulk no tiny man could not do shit. Hulk go smash now. If you don't tell the captain, I won't either. Uh, let's, let, let's go. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Ooh.